be oh it must be over here right if it's double behemoth Ooh, ooh, dang ooh, is there ooh, 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 okay all right all right all right let's get it i'm excited i'm excited thank you thank you for the heads up L uh, some decent action here decent action here okay we'll, we'll hang out here for a bit maybe until this dies down and then uh we'll go and take a look at that facebook article that i'm uh, that i'm really excited uh, to show you guys off Look at that, we have 30 likes, 5 more to 35, we can do it. Sounds good. I am Migre. Boss Nasty is best nasty, thanks. Thanks, Shadi. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, boo-boo. Elias Hazel, what's up? Best RO family is here, supporting love from 76. Thank you, thank you for coming and uh, supporting and hanging out with us for a little bit. Should be good, man. That's uh, you guys already know, man. I love being able to show off PvP from across the gang, from across the world of Call of the Dragons and the community. And you know, I think there's a, a lot of fun fights that happen out there. Whether it's a season two, season two plus kingdom, we've even shown off some like small scale fights that happened in season one. It's just the challenge with season one is that you have to fight. Sorry, not that you have to fight. You have to go and watch the fights pretty much in like the first 24 hours. So like, if you don't really watch it for the first 24 to 48 hours that's really where the most action happens at least from what i've noticed consistently when i go and i, I look at uh zo final zone like atherin zone three fights in season one is that there's just it just it just they, they typically end pretty quick unless you for some reason just have a stacked kingdom and there's big alliances that are pretty balanced on each side that's a little bit different i've only ever seen like one or two of those happen but yeah, season one's fun to show off because it's just it's just usually smaller scale, right? It's not usually as big, so yeah. But we'll we'll hang on here for a little bit. I don't I don't know how long this will go down for, but DYB he's got the bear and ETD some of the giant. Trashed. They said, be and go watch TPD. Oh, oh, is the TPD side uh, jamming out? I like avocados. Please shout out Lorcum for pink. Dude, you guys are so messed up, man. Daisy says, be and say, slay. Hit. There you go. Hopefully that works. Villa says, go back to real ROE, not ROEZ. <laughs> Oh wait, was that was that on the TPD side? Is it is it popping off there? Let me uh, hang on. Let me let me look real quick on my uh, on my scout. I, I, I always forget I have a second instance that I can go and look at. Hang on, I'm, I'll, I'll, let me take a look. And we'll see. Are they going at it? Oh no, they're not going at it. I don't see anything happening right now on oh, there. No, I think they just got done. Or did I miss it? No, it looks like they just got done removing the flag. Yeah, I don't see anything going on on the ROE TPD side. Unless I'm blind. Rambo, what's up? You're watching us fight. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, just for a bit. Yeah we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll watch this fight for a little bit. And then, like I said, we're going to go into the... Uh, that Pervy Sage article on Facebook that I mentioned about, and then we're also going to take a look at the end of season timeline. We'll take a look at some kingdoms, the kingdoms in the KVK, or the groups that are going to be going into the new season. Uh, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about migration. I'll talk a little bit about some expectations for streaming when those happen as well, kind of give you guys some dates. But yeah. Should be, should be good. There we go. Okay, maybe, maybe slow it down a bit. We'll see. 31 likes, 4 more to 35. We can do it. Yeah, kind of a little rough, though, in SS214, just because, again, you can see that even on like the DYB side, and I think another alliance in Zone 3 in Morbrez, they're, they're pushed to the east side. Oh, what's going on over here? Did I miss something? <laughs> oh, there's just... Oh, oh, I see the bear. Oh, wow, they're like pushing the bear 
to pull players. Okay, not bad on the strap, but again, would have needed to have enough activity here to like push that to take advantage of the split. Yeah, but like if we zoom out, you could see here, because this is zone two for Camelad, it, they're already in zone three, right? And you could see ROEZs up here uh, in DYB, and this is kind of where they're holding on this level three spire and this bridge. So you could see like all the turrets that are here, and then if we go up, you could see on the bridge, same thing, right? So those two alliances are up here at the level five pass, but there's not really a lot of movement or a lot of traction. So they're essentially just kind of fighting here in in zone two at the moment. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Let's see if we can figure this out. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Yes. So I'm gonna do the zoom in and zoom out a couple times just so you can kind of get that max range out or view out, I guess we should say, just to be able to have a little bit better of a viewing angle. Yeah, let me go. While we're doing that, though, I want to see if we'll see how the spire fight's going right now. Okay, it looks like it looks like Dora TPD slowed down a little bit, and it's yeah, it looks like they stopped fighting at least right now, or they're they're waiting to reorganize and engage. My phone's almost charged. Probably the most important part of a human being's day. Yeah. Tier, playing that tier divine there close up just it, I guess just doesn't seem like DYB and ROEZ have enough activity right now at least in the zone 2 where they're fighting right now against ETS also I think it is just mainly ET oh no sorry there's ETD there too as well and I missed them Look at that focus fire there on the bear. Yeah, see, this is where usually, if they're doing that, you'd want to push up. There's a decent amount of people that aren't even engaged there on the back line for DYB. You know, where you'd almost want to try and fill out here in front of the in front of this canyon, and then again just try to take advantage of your behemoth tanking some of the damage. It doesn't really do them a lot. It, it's probably better for them to either, like, if they're able to push, then you want to fight a little bit in here where you can use the width. Otherwise, if you're not able to kind of get all the way out there, then you want to fight, like, around here. Just so you could spread more. But I, I guess it can be difficult at times if your activity isn't really meeting their activity for the most part. Yeah, hopefully everyone's having a, a good Saturday, though. Anybody doing anything interesting this weekend? I'm about to go to a kid's birthday party here in a bit. No, what is it, 206? Here? Yeah, so maybe in about 45 minutes, I think we'll be leaving. I'm going to go to a trampoline park. It's always fun. Get to go hang out and talk with some adult humans. It's always fun. The lion man says, "No, it's cold and raining." <laughs> yeah, it's it's it, it's not sunshine and rainbows over here as well. I should I should add, it is pretty chilly. Uh, I don't think it's really uh, warm enough temp wise to actually go out and do anything. Um, I think it's a little bit more beneficial just to kind of be hanging out. Ooh!
Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and take a look now. Never mind, maybe we'll wait a little bit more. Just until this... Oh, jeez, wow, are they going in? Oh, man, I thought they were going to go, like, YOLO. Like, past the keep. Jeez, they're definitely pushing pretty close, though. Yeah, pretty condensed there, right? That's one of the things we, we talk about often, you know, where it's like a lot of them are condensed. Be nice if they just spread out a little bit more, something like that. I guess a few of them were, but just not enough. You're, sh you're still getting a lot of condensation here, where it's almost like they're hiving. It's just a big mosh pit. It's a big mosh pit. This actually isn't that bad, though, on the DYP side. Right, their spread is actually pretty decent. Could be a little bit more. They could go to this block tower over here, and then maybe kind of curving close to the ridge up here on this little mound in front of that green turret or the poison turret. Yeah, Rimuru Senpai! What's up? Welcome! Welcome, welcome. Guys, two more likes until 35. We can do it. Remember, our, our only gentle entry fee request for you is just to be kind and polite and smash that thumbs up. Or to, um, like we say, gently caress. Caress the thumbs up, that's what we say. <laughs> They're going at it, though. They are definitely going at it. Yeah, Ramu uh, Ramudo, how's the... How's the uh, end of season timeline? Surprise gift going within your alliance. I hear there's quite a few alliances. Uh, sh not, not, not struggling, but they are scrambling, that's the word, right now. To figure out what my, their migration plans are with essentially a 24 hour timer. It's just nuts. It's nuts. It's what it is. That's my time out here. We're an hour and almost 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give this a minute or two more, and then, uh, unless it dies out a little bit before that, but we'll give it a minute or two more, and then, and then we'll go take a look at the Facebook post, and then we're going to look at the end of season timeline and show you guys the kingdoms that are going to be popping off first into uh, the new season. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the new season as well. My little one is still sleeping like a, like a loving child. Let's see where we're at. Mm -hmm. I'll, t I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Yeah, go. Uh, you need to brush your hair and brush your teeth. And then tell. It's that one minute. I'll tell you when, but go brush your hair and brush your teeth, please. Yeah, yeah. If you want to leave, you have to go brush your hair and brush your teeth. Okay. Yeah, tell me a two, please. And don't be loud going upstairs. Ooh. They're like, we're going to kill this bear just hanging out. All right. 